IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 now supports Flow, a static type checker for JavaScript. It's been added to the list of possible language versions in the JavaScript settings, where you can configure the executable location and your preferences. When you're using Flow, IntelliJ IDEA will show you where the code is expecting a different type to the one it's getting. These warnings are inline in the code and available in the Flow Errors window so you can easily navigate to the location of an error. The errors appear as soon as you use something that isn't the expected type, there's no need to save the file. IntelliJ IDEA always tries to be smart about the code completion it offers for JavaScript. If you're using Flow's syntax for adding types, code completion is even more useful, listing options for the given type. Moving on to TypeScript support, IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 now uses the TypeScript language service for code completion by default. You can, of course, change this if you wish. TypeScript's refactoring has been updated so that when you rename a method of a class in a hierarchy, the parent class or interface method is also renamed. And there are more quick fixes available for TypeScript. For example, the ability to automatically add a super constructor call. IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 helps you migrate code to ES6 with inspections and intentions. It suggests converting var to let or const, and can convert require calls into import statements. Pressing Alt and Enter on string concatenation offers the suggestion to replace this with a string template. The previous version of IntelliJ IDEA already offered the suggestion to convert functions to arrow functions, but this was an intention. This is now offered as an inspection, which means you can use this and the other inspections we just saw to analyze the whole code base. So now you can migrate all the code in your application in one step. And as well as the inspections, there's a new intention that offers to convert prototypes to classes.